All right, so you can bring up the uh, micro decker by pressing home in your keyboard. At least that's the default key for it. But you can also select it from the self interaction equipment and configure micro dagger. Let will actually bring the uh, configure screen up at the beginning, but you can also show it or close it from here. Anyway, I prefer using home and control home. Control home to hide it and home to cycle between the show screen and configure screen. Now, uh, on top here, on the first screen, we have the uh, accurate uh, MGRS coordinates where you're at. Well, pretty accurate anyway. They are probably not realistic, but they are accurate. So um, it will actually uh, display your grid, which in my case should be somewhere around here. Um, so as for easting, 174, let's see, here we have 174, and for another thing, 138, uh, 138 is here, which means we are somewhere within this grid here. And here you can see the more accurate grid. 48 easting, so around at the middle, and 35 so around here, so around here. Um, and also the elevation is your uh, altitude from the uh, sea level, I believe. And here you can see the bearing you are watching or facing. It's the same as in the compass, just a bit more accurate. You can also see the speed in which you are, or at which you are moving on the right side. And then you can see the time of today. So that's the first tab. On the second tab, you can see the uh, bearing as well, and it's just a bit cooler compass, I guess, and the speed. So there isn't really any reason to use it, as it is right now at least. Now on the third screen, you can see the uh, map, which is very useful. It's just basically like the um, uh, vanilla Control M GPS, but it's just better. Because you can actually select between the textures, uh, one of them will also display the buildings. And you can also make custom waypoints. Now, for the waypoints, um, if you hold right mouse button, you can uh, pan uh, on the GPS's map. And if you can press plus or minus to zoom in or zoom out, and then press this uh, symbol in the middle to uh, center it at the player. So if you double click any location on the map, let's say uh, here where the others should be at, it will uh, bring up this screen. That's my push talk, by the way. <laughs> um, so now it displays it only as a six digit grid, but in reality it actually is 10 digit grid. So you can name it whatever you want. and hit OK to confirm it. Now here you can um, set the waypoint. Now I only have one waypoint at the moment, so I just press uh, set waypoint. And now my compass will, or my GPS would guide me there. So this is the bearing of the medical station from my current location, and this is the distance between me and the medical station. Now this data also changes. so. On the first page, you can see the bearing distance and also the um, altitude of the uh, or elevation, actually, of the um, medical station. So uh, this information here is very useful when playing with mortars. By the way, oh, somebody's ping in cells, but it doesn't really matter. Um, now there's also another menu not everyone knows of. So if you press any way up here can actually bring up another menu. Here we have the mark, which is just the um, uh, for entering a new waypoint. Now you can use anything between six or 10 digit grids 
I have never tried four digit grids that probably not working. So for instance, if I press um, 100, 100, 100. To set a waypoint somewhere at the grid 10. Okay, so it's right here. Is it? Yeah, so it's it takes the uh, six digit grid as the waypoint, and the waypoint now shows at the middle of that grid. Now if I go for uh, 1000, it would probably... I'm also testing this myself first time. So um, this time the grid or the waypoint will actually be in the middle of the 10 digit grid. So make this grid here. Actually, I meant 8 digit grid earlier. Now, if we go for the 10 digit grid, it will be. It will uh, point at, at the middle of the 1 digit grid. So basically, the distance between this and this would be 50 centimeters because this is the center of the 1 meter times 1 meter grid. Now you can see all the waypoints you have set here by pressing waypoints and you can also uh, delete them as many as you want. Uh, you can set whichever waypoint as the current waypoint by pressing set waypoint. And by pressing add you get to the same screen where you get by pressing mark. Uh, there is a limit to the waypoints, how many you can have, I believe. I'm not quite sure of that, but you seldom need 10 waypoints anyway. Now, when we get to the connect to, which is one of the delicate sides of this tool. So you can connect this uh, micro dagger to your vector 21 or vector 21 knight. That is the ace vector. If I press here. I'll actually get connected to the vector now and uh, since I haven't measured anything yet with a vector it so shows nothing but if I uh, hold control and R and release okay not like that if I hold both control R and release at the same time like this it will actually um, send the data to the micro dagger and here we have the uh, accurate 10 digit grid of the location I just laced. Lime echo 177351293131, which is similar to this. So here we have the easting uh, part, and here the uh, northing part of the coordinate. Now I actually have never tried if you can. Um, set this as a waypoint. I'm not aware of that at least. So that would be nice if it works, but I, I'm not aware of it working. Finally, uh, we also have the setting screen where you can uh, change between the angular unit, um, between degrees and mils. Uh, degrees are generally for orienteering and Mills is for more accurate stuff, basically for Arti or Mortars. So this used the uh, US Mills. You can actually see on the outer ring of this compass too. So um, 360 degrees is uh, 6400 Mills. And you can also uh, show waypoints on map or rather enable or disable it. So if I press off, I don't see any of the 
waypoints I marked here on the, this map. Uh, the waypoints you mark on the micro deck are can't be displayed on your or anyone's normal map, as far as I know. And that's about it. That's all I know of micro decker and I doubt there is much else to be known anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I'm just gonna edit this video more than that. I mean, if you are really interested of it, you can just uh, watch it as full and test it by yourself. That's the way I learned most of it.